When a young boy named Chrono woke up that morning, his only goal was to visit the Millennium Fair and have a grand old time. But because of an accident, or maybe a twist of fate, he finds himself and his friends unstuck in time. And now, burdened with a terrible destiny, he must change the past in order to save the future. Ah, Chrono Trigger, my true love of RPGs. Now, to begin, Chrono Trigger the game is all about a young boy named Chrono who must travel around the world with his friends and companions in order to try and prevent a terrible catastrophe from occurring. The gameplay is mostly standard RPG fundamentals. You will find yourself exploring various environments, doing battle with the monsters and beasts that lurk within, and gaining various treasures and equipments as you travel. As you progress, your characters level up, learn new skills and abilities, and you'll occasionally acquire new party members as well. Now, a lot of this is pretty familiar stuff, but what sets Chrono Trigger apart is its damn near flawless execution. All the characters and environments are colorful and vibrant. When you get into a battle, it takes place directly on the screen you're exploring. There's no transitioning to a new screen. When you do get into a fight, battles take place in an active turn system, which was so popular amongst its contemporaries. And in addition to the regular attack, magical attack, and item abilities, you also have special attacks called dual techniques. And these dual techniques allow two characters to combine their attacks into a more explosive super attack. This helps give the battle some strategy, some risk and reward, since it matters who you bring along with you, as different dual attacks open up depending upon what characters are in your party. On top of that, almost all the battles are unique, with each enemy having its own special talents and strengths and weaknesses. The bosses, especially, will just trash you if you run in there and just start swinging wildly without any sort of strategy. Now, to complement the core gameplay, the aesthetics are also really well executed. The characters are all colorful and unique with different personalities. The environments are all well designed and distinctive. Complementing all this are musical tracks provided by both Yatsunori Mitsuda and Nobu Uematsu. Oh, magnifique! Shockingly, one of the most impressive things is that the storyline is also really good. Particularly impressive because it deals with uh, time travel, which is traditionally the graveyard of plot lines. Here, in Chrono Trigger, your goal of preventing the future from being decimated is laid out very early on, and each segment builds towards a natural conclusion of that conflict. Plus, when they do use time travel, they use it to great effect. Early on, you find yourself traveling into the future and fighting robots. Then, later on, you travel into the past and fight dinosaurs. It's glorious. You know, by this point, I don't even need to give this game a score. I mean, hell, this review has been hardly a review at all, more just me gushing about how excellent I think this game is. And it really is excellent. This is one of the highest recommendations I could ever possibly make. If you like RPGs, or if you like classic games, or if you just like fun, imaginative stories, then believe me when I say that the best RPG of the Super Nintendo generation was, perhaps poetically, the last one released. You should play it, not because I love it, but because I'm confident that you will too. Well, thanks for listening. As for me, it's time to get back aboard the Epic, because there's always a new future to look forward to.